All right, welcome to our interview. I'm Quaylen. This is my sister, Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany King here. And we just decided to come together and do an informal interview. So I'm just going to ask some questions um, pertaining to more about her perspective on this whole entire health theme. So, um, I guess, what's your business? Um, the name of my business is Lifetime Organic Wellness, and that is a company that where I work as a nutritional therapy practitioner, helping individuals with their health and wellness needs. And I like to employ a whole foods diet approach for these individuals that maybe are having concerns with things like low energy, fatigue. Uh, maybe some digestive issues, and I'd like to see how I can incorporate whole foods into their diet to really alleviate some of those signs and symptoms that that, that their body gives off when there is some type of imbalance. Okay. Um, when you say um, a whole foods approach, what do you mean by whole food? Well, looking at foods that are in their whole natural form, for an example, um, uh, an apple, you know what an apple is, um, okay. you know what a banana is, you know what a watermelon is, um, you know what nuts and you know what seeds are, those are foods that come in their whole form. Foods okay. that are not really identified as a whole foods type of diet would be things that you're really going to find in the middle aisle of the grocery store. Okay. Um, you know, foods that come in packages mm -hmm. and um, you know, foods that have labels where you have to read the labels and the ingredients to see exactly what are all the different types of components of that item that you're about to, to, to ingest. If people are eating middle aisle foods, what can you, I mean, can you predict uh, certain symptoms or what is your take on that? There are some, some type of foods that are known um, allergens. For example, you may have heard, you know, just in the media out there, you may have heard of peanut allergies. Um, peanuts are, have a known, um, you know, are known to be really sensitive. Um, you have mold in some, in some areas with, with peanuts. And so those are just some of the known effects. But there are some foods out there where, you know, it may affect one person differently than another. And that's where this bio-individual approach within the nutritional therapy comes, comes into play. Okay. Just health in general. What, what does it mean to be healthy? What, what, is, what are we looking for? Because in today's world, uh, it's 2018, we're waking up for whatever that's worth. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing now more on social media, you have different diets, but the diets are moving towards a healthier lifestyle. So um, back in the 80s, the 90s, we didn't really hear anything about these diets, but now we are able to hear something about, you know, a little bit more about other than the Atkins diet, now you have um, uh, paleo diet, pescatarian diets, vegan diets, or plant-based diet, pescatarian. All of these different diets. What is what does it mean to to be healthy? What does that mean? So yeah, there are a lot of different diets out there, and some of those diets are sometimes quick fixes, where you're experiencing something for just a couple of months, a couple of weeks, and then you stop doing it. And then there's not really a you know what is the plan now? Do you continue eating that type of um, diet? or do you incorporate those things that you want into your lifestyle. So some of the things that I, I like to advocate, for example, one of the programs that I offer, which is a restart class, it is a five-week class that has a built-in sugar tea talk, but it also really helps individuals to identify what actually worked within it that they can continue doing as a lifestyle change. They may not have to do everything, that, that, that was done within the um, Whole Foods Challenge or Restart Program, as well as call it. But they can take one or two different ideas and apply that every day for their lifestyle to be healthy for them. And now your question was, what is health? What is, what is health? What is wellness? Well, that's going to be different for everyone. Health looks different through everyone's eyes. It could be mental health. 
It could be psychological help. It could be uh, maybe the way that you look, maybe help to someone is breathing for long hair. Maybe help to someone is pretty skin. Maybe help to someone is someone that might be battling an autoimmune disease or potentially cancer. So help is going to be different for everyone. And my job is to understand what is your goal and how can I get you there? Not based on everyone else's definition of health, but your definition of health for you. I definitely agree with that. And there was one term, term that you uh, hit on and that's, that's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I've noticed is that, you know, when it comes to, to health, for whatever that is, a lot of it really depends on the type of lifestyle that, you're, that you've adopted. Mm -hmm. I feel, in my experience, is whenever I focus in on good habits, things that seem to be good, or at least good feeling to me, we want to make sure that we double up on those activities. And bad habits, we want to fall back away from those activities as much as possible so that we can eventually improve our overall lifestyle. And something else that you touched on was health is different to everyone. Because to someone that's on a standard American diet, well then a vegan is gonna say, look at your diet, your diet is poor. But then you have someone that eats some type of a, maybe a, a secular plant-based diet, like maybe all fruits, and a little bit of uh, something else, but the majority is fruit. They can look at someone that's on a on a pescatarian diet. This is healthy, or this is healthier than that particular type of diet. But then you have someone that's a breatharian that comes in and says, "You don't need food at all. You can live off of prana." And then any food that you put in your body, in your body, you're putting in certain type of information. But the cleanest, purest information is the sunlight in the wind and in the environment, and if you can move into a certain environment, then, so, which one is healthier? Because then you can go all the way back on the other end of the spectrum, and you're gonna have a bodybuilder who says, I wanna be, the more leaner I am, the healthier, the, the healthier that I am. And it just goes to say that, for me, health, health is really an individual thing. And that's the approach that we take at Lifetime Organic Wellness. When I'm working with clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I want to know, I want to know your story. I want to know what are the things that led you up to this point. What was your diet like as a child? Have you had any type of injuries that just haven't gone away? This allows me to really truly understand where you are and the things that you're going through to create a more bio-individual approach for your own health needs. Um, as maybe someone who's working in a corporate office 60, 70, 80 hours a week sitting down. Let's find a plan that's gonna fit you and your lifestyle and something that's also, uh, something that's reachable, something that's attainable and can fit into your current world. Yeah. All right, well, do you have it, Tiffany? Where can you be found? You can contact me at www.ltorganicwellness.com. I'm also on different types of social media platforms, such as Instagram at LT Organic Wellness, or also Facebook, LT Organic Wellness. So find me there. Um, same thing for me. You can find me at Instagram, Facebook, or our website. And uh, you can just look down in the link below. Um, it's Earth, it's Nutritional Elements. Um, and um, yeah. Thank Thanks you guys. for having me.